Hello and welcome to another edition of Check It Out. All right, here's our 2007 Honda Pilot. It won't start, and if you watch this video, I will show you how to start it, or at least what worked for me. So that flashing green key, when you have your keys in the on position, right before it starts the motor, that flashing green key should not be there. If that's what you're getting, I'm gonna show you how to make it go away, or at least what worked for me after four hours of trying to figure this out. So here's how I got to where I am. Actually, I'm going to pause right here and say, please help me out. I am really trying to grow this channel. Please subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. All it does is help me out. If you thumbs up the video, that's great too. But what I really want help with is subscribers. I've got all kinds of DIY and fun videos on there. Not really fun, just how to do things around your house, around the car. All right, let's get back to it. Flashing green. I have the correct key. This key should work in this car. I've tried all three of my keys that are from the factory. They're not working. Here's what's happening. You have a chip inside this key and you also have a reader that is inside here. And that reader is connected to an immobilization system that sits underneath your, well, kind of down by the pedals, let's just call it. And that immobilization system is a security system. That security system, when you have that flashing green light, it's telling you, we don't have the right key, or at least we're not making the right connection. So I'll do it again and I'll turn my key. So that one, two turns, and it's supposed to flash once or twice, and then it's supposed to go away. My car, it keeps flashing. If that is flashing, you will not be able to start your car, right? It's gonna do this, and that's it. So if that's the problem you're having, try this out. Try out both of your keys, right? If some of your keys are working and some aren't, then it's probably a key problem. But if you have more than one key and they're not working, it's probably something wrong with the car. So let's go take a look. Of course, it could be a problem with that immobilization unit. It could be a problem with the reader going around here. But let's take a look and find the easy problem. And if you know cars at all and you know easy problems, you're so happy when it's a fuse. And that is the case with this one. Here's one of the four fuse boxes on the Honda Pilot. There's one by each door. There's this one here that I didn't even know existed. And then this is where our culprit is. And this guy is it right here. ACGS 15 amp fuse. That is the one that is dead on this car and the reason it's not working. So I hope that helped you out. Keep watching if you want a little more information on how to test fuses. But if you know what you're doing, check out that fuse right there. This guy right here, this 15. And by the way, these are spare um, fuses here. And you also have a couple more spares down here. That's uh, 7.5, 10, and I had an extra 15 here. Those are all extras. And of course, you can just read it right here and it tells you, right, spare fuses right there by my thumb and a few more spare fuses up here. So grab that 15 from the spare slot right here and put it in here. Well, actually, before you put it in, grab your multimeter Put it up to uh, check for continuity. So basically you're just gonna see if it's still connected, right? When a fuse disconnects, kind of burns through that metal and then it doesn't sound an electrical, doesn't send an electrical signal. So you can check it. And there's a little noise you're gonna hear when it makes that connection. So let's try it right here. It's a little bit hard to do one-handed, but let's take a look. And if you know fuses, see these little top things right here? I'm going to point to this with the red one. See that little top little part of uh, solder there and another piece here or metal? What you can do is put one of these guys on each side. And this fuse over here is a good one. So I'll test this one and you'll hear that when you do that, the continuity is there. So it's going to make that noise that it's supposed to make. So hopefully you can hear that and it's basically making that noise and it's the same as if you touch them together. It's basically just saying, hey, we, we're connecting, it's a full circuit. And then if I test this guy here, it doesn't do it. And boy, this is kind of challenging one-handed, but the point is, when I test both these guys here, nothing happens. So, grab your little fuse puller, which by the way, if you have this exact same car, it comes with a little fuse puller over here. Take this guy out, grab it onto that 15 right there, yank it out and I'll kind of show you here too there's my new one I'm gonna put in here's my old fuse 
And you can kind of see that little burnt section right there, that little burnt section there. And if you check it out with the continuity, right, you can really double check it down here. Put those two together. This one won't make any noise. This is my spare one that's in good shape. Grab it. Make sure if it's a 15, you got to put a 15 back in there. There it is. Kind of put it in real gently. And then once you know it's lined up right, you just kind of give it a little pressure. So now that we've done that, I'll move this tool out of the way. And let's go take a look back at the dashboard and uh, make sure that we're good to go. All right, so key back in, right? We're gonna do the one, two turns. And there's that green light. And if you saw it, that green light went away. The green light's gone, yay. So again, I'm gonna take the keys out. I'm gonna turn them back on just so you can see that green light. And when the green comes on, it's basically saying, we, we are reading your key. And now it's saying we've read it and you're good to go to start the car. And let's check it out. Ah, voila. Works like a charm. If you haven't subscribed yet, hey, smile. You just fixed your car in the easiest, cheapest way possible. Shouldn't cost you a dime if you have one of those spare fuses. Help me out. Press subscribe. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Hope this helped you out. See ya.